We have an update at this hour on the investigation into Charlotte FC player Anton Walks' death. The 25-year-old defender died in a boating crash in Miami this week. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is live at the growing memorial right outside Bank of America Stadium. And we uh, are going out to her live right now. So we got that new information. What did it tell us about this investigation? Yeah, Annie, it's given us just a little bit more insight as to what happened because right now people How are still grieving the loss, not only of an incredibly talented player here for Charlotte, but for a really good friend to quite a few of his teammates. Here all morning long, we've seen a couple more people uh, continue to add to this memorial here just outside of Bank of America Stadium. A lot of people laying down these uh, kits, you know, his jersey, these signs, candles, all of those trying to honor the young soccer star. Now, a lot of them and his family members, many still have uh, quite a few questions as to about the boating crash that took this young man's life. Now, Florida Fish and Wildlife officials, they released some new information just this morning. They're telling now that Wilkes was on a jet ski Wednesday afternoon when it collided with about a 46-foot cabin boat in Biscayne Bay. Wilkes was a passenger on the jet ski, and first responders found Wilkes unconscious after the crash, administered CPR, and took him to a hospital where he later died. Now, the latest report did not specifically list if the driver, driver of either the jet ski or the boat were in injured or who may have been at fault because officials say, of course, this is still very early on and the case is still very much active. Wilkes was with the team in Miami for training. Now, teammates and club officials say they'll remember him not only as an outstanding father, but of course a player who always put others before himself. Everyone who came across Anton just talked about the kind of teammate that he was. Uh, he was a fierce competitor, cared about the club more than his own uh, progress, and uh, just a charismatic individual, somebody who was always willing to talk with us. We've had multiple interviews with him. It's very sad that he's no longer with us, but I, I know that these types of things will unite this community and they'll do so for the right reason because he was an incredible young man, incredible father, and we'll do everything we can to honor his memory this season. And Wilkes died just days before the 2023 season, and the Charlotte FC team was scheduled to play a friendly against St. Louis this weekend, and so far there's been no official word just yet as to whether or not that match is still on. Reporting live in Uptown, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News. Charlotte FC's president thanking everyone for their support during this tragedy. He posted on Twitter saying, quote, on behalf of the club, we want to say thank you to the outpouring of support and kindness that has been shown all across the world. Please keep Anton and his loved ones in your thoughts. Be kind to each other. Don't sweat the little things and enjoy every moment you have.